Okay, Euler's method. The basic idea behind direction fields can be used to, def to find numerical approximations to solutions of differential equations. We illustrate the method on the initial value problem that we use to introduce direction fields, where y prime is equal to x plus y, and then we have our initial point, which is y of 0, which is equal to 1. Now the differential equation tells us that when we substitute 0 in for the value of x, it's going to equal 0 plus 1, which is equal to 1. So then we would see that the solution curve has a slope 1 at the point 0, 1. So here at the point 0, 1, you will see that there is a slope of 1. Now, as a first approximation to the solution, we could use the linear approximation L of x, which is equal to x plus 1. So in other words, we can use the tangent line at 0, 1 as a rough approximation to the solution curve. Now, in Euler's method, you're going to approximate values for the solution of the initial value problem, where y is equal to f of xy, y of x subscript initial is equal to the initial value of y with step size h at xn is equal to xn minus 1 plus h are the following y subscript n is equal to y subscript n minus 1 plus h times f of x subscript n minus 1 minus y subscript n minus 1, where n is equal to 1, 2, 3, and so on. So in example number 3, we want to use Euler's method with step size 0 0.1 to construct a table of approximate values for the solution of the initial value problem. y prime is equal to x plus y y of 0 is equal to 1. And here we are given that h is equal to 0 0.1, x not is 0, y not is 1, and f of xy is equal to x plus y. So we have the following. So for the first one, y subscript 1, we're going to have the initial y plus h times f of x not, y not. Well, we end up getting 1 plus 0 0.1 times 0 plus 1, which is equal to 1.1. Okay, now that we know that y1 is equal to 1.1, we're going to substitute it back into the second formula. So y subscript 2 is equal to y subscript 1, which is 1.1. h is a constant, which stays at 0 0.1. And now x1 and y1 become 0 0.1 plus 1.1, which gives us 1.22. If we continue that with step y subscript 3, we get y subscript 2, which is 1.22 plus 0 0.1 times 0 0.2 plus 1.22, which is equal to 1.362. So this means that if y of x is the exact solution, then y of 0 0.3 is approximately 1.362. Proceeding with similar calculations, we would get the values in the table. So you're going to find out what n is going to equal, and this is going to give you uh, the value of xn, which is increasing by 0 0.1 since h is 0.1. And then y subscript n, again, is the output for each particular value of n. Now, for more accurate table of values in example 3, we could decrease the step size, but for a large number of small steps, the amount of computation is considerable, and so we need to program a calculator or computer to carry out these calculations. The following table shows the results of applying Euler's method with decreasing step size to the initial value problem of example 3. So here's your step size, here's your Euler estimate of y of 0 0.5, and Euler estimate of y of 1. So if you notice that the Euler estimates in the table seem to be approaching limits, namely the true values of y of 0 0.5 and y of 1. And so figure 16 shows a graph of the Euler approximations with step sizes of 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.1, 0 0.05, 0 0.02, 0 0.01 and 0 0.005 and they are approaching the exact solution curve as the step size h approaches zero.